What's going on, great people? Terrell Harris here. Today's question of the day is, is the commandment be fruitful and multiply still applicable today now that the earth is overpopulated? What's going on, Myron? Great question. So I, I, I like to talk about the creation story because oftentimes we read it in a literal sense. Um, but um, for me, some of, some of it I think of as more poetic or more as a, a metaphor. But if you think about the writer and we take the, the actual text in the writer's context, we have to envision or imagine what the writer was going through, what the writer knew and didn't know. Um, if you think about it, they had no idea or couldn't even conceive uh, how big the earth was at that particular time. Um, they're probably only thinking about a, if, if this, maybe even a two or 300 mile radius of what they see in front of them. And, you know, it definitely wasn't, you know, as many people as we have on the globe today. So the idea, you know, that God created, you know, a handful of people, or even maybe two people, and the earth was populated, you know, from those uh, individual beings, seems like a pretty logical thing in their particular time. But instead of, reading the text as a literal commandment to all of humankind as opposed to that subset of human beings uh, what i tend to do or what i like to do is ask myself what is the text telling us today so is the text telling us to today that we all need to go out and start having babies um, i wouldn't necessarily say that although if humankind decided you know we're not going to produce any more children you know you know the the planet as it relates to humankind would, would would eventually die but being fruitful and multiplying for me if we look at that as a metaphor um what it does at least from from my perspective is when i'm fruitful and i multiply i produce good things so what 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 you see in the creation story is god is creating um he's creating the plants the animals the earth and we see that God is actually forming things and God actually gives us that power to create too. So we have to ask ourselves, what can we create that is good for humankind outside of, you know, a, a, a baby? And what can we do to create or uh, multiply those things that are good for humankind? So that's how I particularly take a look at the text. So as it relates to creation, are you, let's just say, creating jobs and multiplying those jobs? I know oftentimes I see <clears throat> housing and construction going up all the time so you see you know we multiply things like that but are we doing that for for the gain of wealth or are we actually multiplying homes and communities for those who don't have so i tend to ask myself those questions um what does the text mean in our particular context sometimes you actually get would get a different meaning and you'll find that god actually may be speaking something different to you god may actually be giving you a re revelation so I pose that question back to you. What do you think it means to be fruitful and multiply in that context? Do you think that God is telling us to just go out and have babies? Or do you think that God is actually telling us to take a role in creation and be fruitful as it relates to helping others and serving humankind and serving those who are actually in need? So that's my take on it. That's what I get from um, the text. So when I look at the things I can do to create to help other peoples, I'm also making sure that I could do it in a way which I could actually multiply that so I could, you know, help out as many people as possible. So that's my take on it. Once again, my name is Terrell Harris. Uh, you can visit openbox.com for more messages like this. If you're on Facebook, be sure to click the like button, like our page. If you're on Twitter, be sure to retweet the message as well. Peace and blessings. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask them. You can use the hashtag PastorRel. Peace.